Welcome to this screencast titled Master Data Services Getting Started. My name is Ola Ekdal and I'm with IT Mentors. So what I want to do first here real quick is just to reiterate some of the important MDS key concepts when it relates to definitions. And this is something that you have to be comfortable with before you can actually get started in building solutions in Master Data Services. So the first thing that I want to discuss here is the concept of the model. So your model is going to be a container of related entities. And you can think of a model as a database within a relational uh, database system. So an entity, which again, you're going to have a number of one or more entities within a model, typically one and more, is something that you could think of as a table or dimension within analysis services. So we're going to have things like product and customer and, and country um, entities that we have defined or that we define within a model itself. We're also going to work with entity members. So an entity member defines the attribute values for a particular instance. So you see a couple of examples here that relates to bike, for example. And it could be that we have BKM18B-40, could be an entity member, or Mountain 500 Black 40, or just Black. It's up to you how you want to define these entity members. And you can relate this to a record within a, a relational database. That's the metaphor that you can think of, or a dimension member within an analysis services dimension. We're also going to work with attributes. And an attribute is going to be like a, a, think of it as a column within a relational database or an attribute within a analysis services dimension. And your attribute can be a text, numeric, date, time, and uh, or file. And they can be sourced from another entity. So similar to a foreign key relationship with between two tables uh, in a database, in a relational database, or an attribute relationship between two attributes within an analysis services dimension. So we can look at a couple of examples here, such as name, size, color, width, height. Those will all be examples of an attribute. Now you're also going to have hierarchies. So this is a way for you to arrange entity members so similar to creating an, a hierarchy within a dimension in analysis services or working with a parent-child relationship with, within a relational table. Now there are some samples that ships with the product. So you can either go in and say I want to go ahead and build models and entities and hierarchies and attributes and whatnot However, if this is the very first time that you work with Master Data Services, it might be a good idea to install and deploy the MDS samples to get sort of an idea of some of the things that you can do with Master Data Services. So it comes with three sample packages, and you'll find them after you've done the installation in your program files, Microsoft SQL Server, Master Data Services Samples Packages folder. And the three packages that we are going to see are chart of accounts, customer, and product. So let's go ahead and look at a demo where we see how we can deploy these packages. And we'll also take a quick look at how we can build a model from scratch. Here are the three packages that I mentioned earlier. So again, it's in the Samples Packages folder within the Master Data Services directory. Now, these packages is something that you can deploy from the Getting Started site. So what you do is you'll find the instance, in my case, localhost 8081. That's what I use to deploy my MDS web application. And then you'll go to gettingstarted.aspx. And from here, we have the ability to open up the model deployment wizard. So I'm going to go ahead and create 
a package if necessary or I can also deploy an existing package so in our case we want to actually deploy an existing package now if I go ahead here and let's open up my default page which is the actual main page itself you can see that I've already deployed chart of accounts and customer that means that I have one more package that I need to deploy which is the product one so I'm gonna open that up just browse to the directory that I pointed out earlier we'll say open and then we'll click next and now it's going to load the package once it's been loaded we need to click next again and now it's actually going to go ahead and deploy the package and this can take a couple of minutes to complete the package has now been successfully deployed so I'm going to go ahead and click finish and if we refresh the page we can see that here is the newly deployed product model so if we go ahead and select that and then we'll go into Explorer we can go in and explore the hierarchies and entities and members and attributes and whatnot that has been defined for that particular product model and here we can see a list of the attributes we can go in and look at the various entities and again you can think of entities as tables that have been defined for the products model we can look at hierarchies and whatnot now we can also go into system administration and from here I can choose to manage my models and if I highlight or click on the product model you can see that I have the ability here to if I wanted to delete it I can also go in and edit this particular model so allow me to specify a different name if necessary and I can also go in and I can create a new model from here so let's go ahead and call this my CRM model so it would be an additional customer model that we are working with and you can see that I have the ability here to specify if I want to create a, an entity with the same name so we get one entity in there that's also going to be called CRM if we want to create explicit hierarchies with the same name as the model and what an explicit or derived hierarchy is two different types of hierarchies what that is is something that we'll discuss uh, in more detail in the models session and also we can specify here if we want to include all leaf members in mandatory hierarchy so I'm going to leave the defaults here and click on the save button and now you can see that I have an additional model now from here I can also go in and I can work with entities so we can look at the existing entities for product I can go into the CRM model that I just created and you can see that right now I have the, my one CRM entity that was created since I did select to create an entity with the same name as the model itself and we can go in here and we can do things such as edits and deletes and whatnot and we can manipulate and work with this particular uh, model so let's go ahead and open this up and here you can see that we can go in and look at uh, attributes for this particular uh, CRM model and we can also go in if we look at the all the models here you can see that we can go in and we can navigate and we can browse these so here we can look at my product entity and then we're looking at uh, all my various uh, attributes and properties that we have defined in there Do the same thing with chart of accounts we can look at customer etc etc so from system administration that's where you go in and you create new models entities attribute groups business rules and derived hierarchies so that's a couple of quick notes to get started deploying the sample packages and we just touched upon working with uh, creating your own custom models and whatnot and that's something that we're going to explore further in the session that is titled 
models. I would like to finish off this session by just pointing out a couple of resources. Uh, on msdev.com, that's where you find all of the sessions that are part of this series about master data services. And also make sure to visit the MDS product team's blog where you'll find lots of useful information in terms of how to get started and up and running and work with specific features of master data services. And with that, I would like to say thank you very much.